so in the linear inequations beta uh, the definition is any inequality said to be linear if each uh, if each variable occurs in first degree only and there is no term involving the product of variables theek hai all the variables whatever are present over there they all must have the power 1 maximum power 1 okay and there is no term involving the product of the variable that means two variables also you cannot multiply because if you multiply x and y that will be x y so there the power will become 2 because power of x is 1 power of y is 1 total power 2 so that is also not involved there okay so this is a simple form of a linear in equation all right the in an equation the sign are greater than less than okay these oh sorry these signs are also missing e less than equal to greater than equal to these wale signs theek hai they are you are called the signs of inequalities a real number line can also be used to represent the solution to the set of the equation remember yahan pe here beta a hollow one represents either greater than or less than and a dot one yes aisa wala jo hota hai it represents it represents this equal to signs okay so in this we exclude the part hollow circle mein we exclude excluding that point and in darkened circle we include that point also we include that point also for example if i will say let's say here it is 1 and here it is 3 and i am saying this is my solution set so this is the values of x so you can clearly say ki sir values of x is x is greater than or equal to 1 But x is less than three. X is greater than or equal to one, but less than three. I am including one, but I am not including three. All right. So this will be our example. <clears throat> Then, in linear inequations, what could two kind of sets are involved? So one is replacement set. That means the all the values of possible values of x from which the x can be chosen. ठीक है एंड देन द सॉल्यूशन सेट दैट दोज वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स व्हिच विल बी सेटिस्फाइंग द इन इक्वेशन सो द सेट फ्रॉम व्हिच द वैल्यू ऑफ वेरिएबल इज टू बी चोजन फॉर एग्जांपल से चोजन एक्स एग्जांपल इज गिवन एज एक्स इज लिस्ट दिस दिस थिंग इज गिवन ओके एक्स इज लेस देन 3 द रिप्लेसमेंट सेट इज गिवन एज एन सेट ऑफ नेचुरल नंबर्स सो हियर आई हैव टोल्ड यू दैट वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स कैन ओनली बी नेचुरल नंबर्स सो दिस इज कॉल्ड योर रिप्लेसमेंट सेट सॉल्यूशन सेट सेटिस्फाइंग दिस सो हाउ मेनी नेचुरल नंबर्स आर देयर व्हिच आर लेस देन 3 सो 1 and two two natural two num two natural numbers so one and two are the solution for this part so this is called the solution set and natural numbers will be your replacement set all right now rules for algebraic solutions so remember most of the rules are exactly same as you solve a linear equation okay positive shifted over there will become negative negative will become positive okay when we multiply or divide by a positive number remember this thing if i multiply or divide by a positive number in that case also everything same the sign will not change okay for example i have 2x greater than 4 so i will say x is greater than 2 4 divided by 2 no need to change any sign but if i transfer a negative number from multiplication to division or division to multiplication for example if i have minus 2x should be greater than 4 so i will say x if i divide 4 by minus 2 i have taken negative over there so i have to change the in equation sign i have to reverse it so x will be less than minus 2 x should be less than minus 2 all right so this is how this in equations work so either i will say transfer any negative number or i cancel negative on both the side also for example example let's say i have minus 3x is greater than or equal to minus 6 okay if i cancel negative to negative so remember 3x and 6 but change the sign as well change the sign as well that is also required and the third thing is when you do the reciprocal say x is greater than 3 so 1 by x and 1 by 3 so here also change the sign okay so these three cases of changing the sign you should remember if you remember these three cases of changing the sign everything will be easy for you but rest everything is exactly same all right so this is your linear in equations part acha one more thing as the exams are very near those who want to uh, join vedantus pro subscription course for the final moment preparation you can you are more than welcome to join 
you will get unlimited live classes okay you can watch the replays of the session uh, you will be able to download the notes as well doubt solving everything is present over there you if you want you can cover the whole syllabus in one month that is all up to you so the link is mentioned in the description box of this video the coupon code data is gpe pro the coupon code is gpoe pro and this will give you 20 percentage off all right now quadratic equation beta if we'll go for the quadratic equation so first thing quadratic equation meaning is what equation of degree 2 in one variable okay it is a, a degree 2 equation quadratic equation with degree 2 that means the variable will be x square okay so the general form is ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 where a b and c are real numbers and remember the most important thing a is not equal to 0 the most important thing a is not equal to 0 all right so this is your general form for the quadratic equation now in quadratic equation we can solve it by two methods one is your factorization method by in which splitting the middle term okay and second is the formula method this is your quadratic formula this is your direct quadratic formula minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 ac divided by 2a all right then for a quadratic equation this thing is very important this b square minus 4 ac it is called discriminant and it will tell us the nature of roots it will tell us the nature of roots by from here we can find out nature of roots how if suppose the discriminant is greater than 0 we can say there are two distinct roots and the graph is something like this intersecting the x-axis at two different points when we say d equal to 0 there are two equal roots and the graph is something like this where the graph just in just touches the x-axis at one point and the third one when d is less than 0 no real roots so the graph does not touch the x-axis at all this is how the graph looks remember graph over a quadratic equation is a parabola so these are the three things very important for you d greater than zero two distinct real roots d equal to zero two equal roots and d less than zero no real roots or imaginary roots all right application there are application for time and work speed distance and time and geometric figures okay beta one more thing that if you will register for the course from 14 january to 17 january you have this 50 percentage off up to rupees 2000 off and uh, this is the price for one month and now one new thing since the exams have been uh, shifted back so till june 2021 we have this course for you this is the price per month this is the price per month so if you will multiply this with six you will get your june 2021 till june 2021 this is your academic year plan you can learn the whole syllabus best course right now okay the price per class is around 5.83 something so very affordable all of you can really afford this part okay so this last moment preparation is going to help you a lot those who are interested can join by can join by clicking on the link which is mentioned in the description box the coupon code is gpe pro all right beta so this is all from my side in this mind map these videos you can easily use for the last moment revision as well quickly go through the revision part everything which is there in your syllabus Okay, beta. So thank you so much. I'll see you soon in the next class. Till then, bye bye. Sayonara, khudafis to all of you. Please don't forget to like the video, share the video with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.